Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Where are we in today? Malachi. Malachi. Mal <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is May 20th, 2023. This smoke is trying to dissipate. It is trying so, so hard. Mm. And we are still waiting for our power to come on. We have a scheduled power outage, so we got interesting morning yeah it's all good it's all good we can always make it through it's no big deal we're having an <laughs> italian breakfast this morning from the italian prophet malachi it's not malachi. it's not malachi no oh <laughs> okay all right this is going to be a good one because the title is called standing firm through trials mm. Not planned trials, unplanned no. trials. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, so from Malachi 3 2, but who can endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like a launderer's soap. Mm. You're in Malachi 3. Malachi 3. The whole chapter. Okay. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare. The way before me. Mm. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Mm. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like a like fuller soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Man, yeah, that's so good. That they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Mm. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. Oh, boy. And I will come <laughs> near to you judge, to judgment. <clears throat> And I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling and his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. That is so good. <laughs> mm. Spoken from experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saith the Lord of hosts, but ye said, wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings? Ye are, ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me. For yea, ye have robbed me. I'm sorry. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. Mm. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing <laughs> that there shall not be room enough to receive it and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field saith the Lord of hosts and all nations shall call you blessed for you shall be a Delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Ooh, What have we so spoken? What have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said it is vain to serve God. Wow. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before? I am getting ministered to right now. <clears throat> and now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. 
Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that fear the Lord spake off, often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. Woo! And a book of rem remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. Whew. Oh, man. <laughs> Just a quick break. break. Woo! It was so magnificent. Mm. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them. As a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth God and this, him that serveth him not. I love that Italian prophet. <laughs> mm. It's a power packed mm. book. Oh, man. I've always, it's like I get refreshed in, uh, I get refreshed in Malachi each time mm. I read it because uh, um, it's a little book, but yeah. man. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I love, I love mm. reading it by myself too. Um, all right. I still got to get through my part. <laughs> Praising God in a meeting is a different thing than thanking him for the trials you face in your life. There must be no perishing, though we are tried by fire. What is going to appear at the appearing of Jesus? Faith. Your heart will be established by the grace of the Spirit, which doesn't crush, but refines, doesn't destroy, but enlarges. O oh, beloved, the enemy is a defeated foe, and Jesus not only conquers, but also displays the spoils of his conquest. Oh. Did you get that? Jesus not only conquers, but displays the spoils of his conquest. The pure in heart will see God. Matthew 5, 8. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. Matthew 6, 2. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. What is it? It is loyalty to the word by the power of the blood. You know your inheritance within you is more powerful than all that is that is without. How many have gone to the stake and through fiery persecution? Did they desire it? Faith tried by fire had power to stand all ridicule, all slander. We need to have the faith of the Son of God who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Hebrews 12, 2. Oh, the joy of pleasing him. Mm. <laughs> That's some honey right there. No trial, no darkness, nothing is too hard for me. If only I may see the image of my Lord again and again. In the melting pot, he removes the skimmings until his face is seen. <laughs> When the metal reflects him, it is pure. Who is looking into our hearts? Who is the refiner? My Lord. Mm -hmm. He will remove only what will hinder. Oh, I know the love of God is working in my heart. Thought for today. You will do more in one year if you are really filled with the Holy Spirit than you could do in 50 years apart from him. That's the truth. Thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow.